The main photo shows a wombat, and from top to bottom, the little video clips on the left are a galah, but a parrot, an echidna, and a wombat. This is my wildlife watching vlog for my trip to Tasmania. I travelled around Tasmania by public bus, which hardly anyone was doing. The buses were almost deserted. There were typically two, three, four or five people per bus. But I really recommend it. it. I found it to be a very effective way of getting around seeing lots of good wildlife spots. I started off in Melbourne, Australia, and took the ferry across. So the first photo we saw was a crested tern, and that was a silver gull. And here are a group of short-tailed shearwaters flying along next to the ferry, which was the reason I took the ferry, because I love wildlife watching from ferries, so if I can, I will take a ferry. So I purposely took a plane to the wrong place so I could take a ferry to Tasmania and back. Once I got to ta uh, Tasmania, this was the view that welcomed me at Devonport. I then started my clockwise trip around the island, first going to Baichino, maybe that's how it's pronounced. Coastal coastal spot. Uh, here's some photos of um, animals that I saw. I saw this little wattle bird. I also saw a little penguin in the bushes by the beach. I made sure that I didn't go anywhere nearer it, closer. I just stopped as I was walking past, took a photo and carried on. It didn't seem to bother it. I saw this brown thornbill, which to my eyes characteristically just has the brown on the forehead but not on the whole body. And here's a video clip of a Pacific gull feeding on the shoreline. So that was my first stopping off point. This this whole thing is uh, is described in more detail in my blog. And I've got a book as well, so there's a bit of an upsell there. But you don't have to get the book, you can just read the blog. Okay, so then on the clockwise trip round, my next stopping off point was the Freysenet Peninsula. We just saw a picture of the coast. This is the, some of the eucalypt forest on the rocky hills within the island, which early in the morning could be misty, and I thought it looked really beautiful. And here's a sandglass tree showing the many decades of growth that it takes to get to that size. And this is a Tasmanian scrub tit. So I'm now going to tell the story of my three-day hike around the Freysnet Peninsula with a series of uh, videos, <laughs> video clips. This is a yellow wattle bird, which I saw right at the start of the hike. I then, as I often do with hikes like this, I kind of pushed on for the first day just to get some distance under my belt. Made it down to close to the campsite on the southwest sort of corner of the peninsula, where I met this... Bennett's wallaby and its baby, which I think were begging for food. I think they kind of stopped in front of me thinking, oh, maybe maybe he'll give me some food. But I didn't, and kind of moved on after a bit. And as I was getting closer to my first campsite, I met this black currawong scavenging on the beach, which I think has an amazing bill. And I put my trail camera out, and I discovered, as I checked the cat footage in the morning afterwards, that a possum had been checking out my rucksack, and also two possums, so this is a second clip, two possums had checked out my tent. I, I had heard things at night, so I'll explain it. Oh, this is a male superb fairy wren, which I saw at my second campsite, where I also heard these laughing kookaburras. I put out my trail camera again on the second night and I just got this one clip of a possum walking right past the camera. And on the way back, at the end of the hike, walking past Wineglass Bay, back to the start of the hike, I saw this scarlet robin. And then, right near the entrance, I got this very close view of a baby Bennett's wallaby.
So on my budget backpacking trip, which I think was amazing value, going clockwise around the island, my next stopping off point was Lake St. Clair, where I was welcomed by a green rosella feeding, in fact, near the turning for Lake St. Clair. I messed up slightly, although maybe I didn't mess up, I'm not sure, by booking accommodation away from the main entrance, but then that just gave me some more options instead. I saw this group, a uh, family group, I guess, of Tasmanian native hens, so one of many Tasmanian endemics that I was seeing on this um, on this trip. And then on my walk in from my hostel to the main entrance one day, in fact I think the first day, I saw this echidna just feeding by the road. I think this was probably a reward for my very early start. Obviously it's a beaked mammal, only found in Australasia. And that beak is actually quite soft, so it's using it to kind of feel the undergrowth. Oh, check this out. As you know, if you watch my videos, I'm quite into poo. Got these wildlife poo. This, I'm pretty sure, is Tasmanian devil poo. You can see there's like animal remains inside, so it's definitely carnivore poor poo. I'm guessing it's Tasmanian devil poo. And away from the open spaces, uh, open kind of view lanes that you get associated with, say, roads, it, I found it much more difficult to see the echidnas. For example, here was one in the undergrowth, much more difficult to get such a good view of it feeding. Still, ex I was still really excited to see it though. So, further on round the trip, I got to Cradle Mountain. It wasn't on my original itinerary, but everyone was telling me I had to go there, so I added it. This is a Tasmanian thornbill, which is has a lot more brown on it. This is a forest raven. And then, I love this signpost. It's supposed to be a signpost to Wombat Pool. So P-O-O-L. Someone's taken the L off, so it's Wombat Poo. And there is a lot of Wombat Poo everywhere. And just to prove that it is Wombat Poo, here is a Wombat doing a poo. The more typical view of the Wombat was for me was in the button grass, grazing. So in a moment we're going to see a wide shot and then you can kind of scan the wide shot and see and you can see the wombat slowly moving. And I would, I would pick it out because I'd get used to what size it should be and the fact that there was a slightly different colour to the grass around it. I think they're really cute and they are definitely popular with a lot of tourists. I was seeing them from kind of mid-afternoon onwards on the button grass in the meadows at Cradle Mountain. I think my most common mammal here was actually padamelon, but I mainly saw those at night if I went for a walk with a torch and I saw this mother and baby, I think it was a mother, and oh my goodness, look at the baby, I think it's so cute. Um, at dusk, which is how I managed to get a video of them. Check out my blog, if you're even vaguely thinking of going to Tasmania, especially if you're into backpacking, check out my blog. I got some advice on there about how to visit using public transport. I think I think it's an amazing place to go wildlife watching and see a lot very easily using uh, cheap transport. And this, these are galah parrots that I saw at Devonport as I was waiting to go back on the ferry. Thanks for watching.